Building your personal AI productivity center. Welcome to this video series. In this video, we will guide you through creating a tailored AI productivity center using a selection of top chatbots available today, including ChatGPT, Bard, Bing Chat, ChatSonic, Perplexity, and UChat. When proceeding with this task, it's important to consider some key information about web browsers and search engines. Market shares for browsers and search engines. Google Chrome dominates the Windows browser market, holding a staggering 63% market share. Microsoft Edge trails in second place with a market share of slightly over 5%. Mozilla Firefox, Opera, and Samsung Internet each hold similar market shares, each below 2%. In the realm of internet search engines worldwide, Google reigns supreme with a market share exceeding 93%. Bing follows in second place with a little over 3%, while Yahoo, Baidu, and Yandex each hold less than 1.5%. Chatbots Availability In addition to well-known chatbots like ChatGPT, Bard, and Bing Chat, several other chatbots are available. After our initial review, we have selected ChatSonic, Perplexity, and UChat for research and experimentation. Our goal is to construct an AI productivity center that provides efficient and convenient access to a variety of effective chatbots. We'll update this video series periodically, so make sure to subscribe to our channel for regular updates and give us a thumbs up. If you're a subscriber, you can request private videos or playlists by sending us an email. Copilots and Productivity Center Microsoft's substantial investments and innovative approaches in productivity center technology are evident in the Copilot design of the Edge browser and the revamped Bing search engine. The Edge browser features a variety of Copilots, including New Bing and Microsoft 365, among others. New Bing combines Bing Search and Bing Chat and a range of other features found on the menu bar like images, videos, shopping, maps, and more, enhancing the search experience. This menu bar design can be considered as a new industry standard. U.com, a new AI search engine, adopts a similar menu bar design to new Bing. Google still maintains its traditional minimalist design for its legacy search bar, but it allows its expanded search interfaces accessible through specific URL like images.google.com or video.google.com. We will provide more details later in this video. Despite the success of ChatGPT and the collaboration between Microsoft and OpenAI, Microsoft's market shares for Edge and New Bing have only seen small increases. According to StatCounter, Microsoft's Edge browser increased its market share from 3.5% in February 2023 to 4.2% in May 2023. Microsoft's Bing search engine grew its market share from 2.8% in February 2023 to 3.1% in May 2023. These results may be disappointing for Microsoft. While I have personal views on these outcomes, it's worth noting that this is a multi-billion dollar question for Microsoft, and they must have numerous talented individuals working on this issue. Personal AI Productivity Center Keeping the above information in mind, we shall build our AI productivity center using Chrome browser and Google search, while incorporating Microsoft's Copilot concept. This AI productivity center aims to significantly enhance the effective use of AI chatbots and improve overall work efficiency for an individual dramatically. The AI chatbots, also referred to as chatbot assistants, form the backbone of a personal AI productivity center. Although there are many chatbots available, our focus will be on employing the most efficient AI chatbots with complementary capabilities. We subscribe to the approach, the simpler, the better, and limit the number of seats for chatbot assistants. Organize bookmarks for Chrome browser. We are going to use bookmarks and extensions to build a personal AI productivity center using Chrome browser. To design bookmarks for your browser, first, ensure you can log in to prospective AI chatbot services and use them successfully. Here are the URLs that you can find in the description of this video. We include the last URL as it provides a significantly more convenient way to access videos and images through Google search. Its menu layout closely resembles that of new Bing and U.com. When setting bookmarks, it is beneficial to navigate to the page that grants you immediate and most convenient access to your applications later on. 
Also, it is helpful that the bookmarks bar is always shown at the top of the browser. You may delete or add chatbots when you see fits. You can also include your other commonly used websites in your productivity center. However, you want to keep your productivity center simple and effective. Below is how our AI productivity center looks like. Install Chrome extensions. After you have organized your bookmarks on your browser, you can now install Chrome extensions for the chatbots. A Chrome extension is a piece of software that adds new features or functionality to the Chrome web browser. You can find Chrome extensions for software applications on the internet by searching a phrase like Chrome extension for Google Bard. We found and installed an extension called Bard for Google. This extension provides convenient access to both Bard and ChatGPT in a non-intrusive manner and works well. Similarly, we install extensions for Bing Chat, ChatSonic, Perplexity, and UChat. Note that there is no limit to the number of Chrome extensions that a software service may have, and some extensions may conflict with each other. So, it is important to install an extension that works well and functions most effectively among alternatives. It is also worth noting that U.com and New Bing are both search engines and will attempt to make themselves as your default search engine. You may need to restore your default search engine if necessary. Also, please note that Chatsonic appears as a pink dot in every input box on the browser, which might take some getting used to. You may remove the Chatsonic extension if you find its presence too intrusive. Below is how our AI productivity center with Chrome extensions looks like. The installation of Chrome extensions is not absolutely necessary, but it can significantly enhance your experience in using AI chatbots as assistants and improve your productivity. Why multiple chatbots? A well-designed personal AI productivity center will allow you to use multiple AI chatbots more effectively and efficiently. You may ask why use multiple chatbots? Below we list a few reasons. We will discuss this issue further in other videos. 1. After you have gotten used to working with AI chatbots, your work efficiency and quality will greatly improve. After that, you can no longer achieve similar efficiency and quality without assistance from AI chatbots. However, AI chatbots can experience service outages or malfunctions due to various reasons, including software upgrades, high usage volume, and so on. It is prudent and wise to have backup chatbots to use. 2. Almost all chatbots have some limits on their capacity. In text processing, a common limit is 4,000 words in English. For shorter articles, you may have more choices for chatbots. Once your article exceeds the length limit, your choice becomes more limited. In addition, the quality of the resulting work may vary greatly among different chatbots at different times. 3. In query mode, the responses to your query can vary greatly from incorrect, unclear to excellent, and they are evolving. When the response from a chatbot is unsatisfactory, you want to be able to query another chatbot quickly to compare the results. Multiple chatbots are particularly useful in query mode. The progress in this area is very rapid. We will keep you updated in our video series. Stay tuned. By the way, if you have any specific questions in setting up your AI productivity center, you may ask any of the chatbot assistants for more details. You will find all of them are very helpful. That's all for today. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more updates. As a subscriber, you can request private videos or playlists by sending us an email at strtextmaster at gmail.com. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.